Hi Virgo, welcome to your love connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Virgo, we're going to take a look at a love connection that you believe you have at this time. So you don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to know, at least know this person. So we'll see what we have for you. Um, this could be past, present or future. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So male or female. So let's see what we have for you, Virgo. And everything you need to know, Virgo, is down below in the description box. How to reach out for personal reading. Tons of stuff down there. So please feel free to check that out. And also the pin top comment has some information. All right, Virgo. This is a Zodiac Oracle. <clears throat> so we could get a sign, planet, element. If you don't resonate with com what, what comes out here, that is totally fine. So Virgo, what do we have for Virgo spirit, please? This love connection reading for April spirit, please. Can you believe we're in April already? Hope everybody's doing well for April for Virgo. All right, let's take that one. So we have the moon energy, which is Cancer. In the Zodiac, it's Cancer. In the Tarot, it's Pisces. So the moon is about um, intuition, feelings, emotions, uh, cycles of the moon also. It's a feminine energy. <clears throat> so something here uh, with cycles, Intu listening to your intuition or feelings and emotions kind of energy. So let's see talk about deep feelings also so let's get in opening energy love energy between you and your person at this time for you and your person at this time for virgo what is the current love energy for virgo spirit please between them and their person whoever they think about at this time oh somebody may be getting a note or a letter or documents or something here we do have the Seven of Swords at the bottom here, uh, which could talk about sneaky, deceitful energy. But we do have 27 there, which is 9. 9 is also all, almost at the end of a cycle or a completion of something here. Um, trying to see if I can read this, but I don't even think it's in English. <laughs> So we have the letter here. So let me just read a little snippet about the letter. Because this deck is a little different, has a little different meaning. I am a document, a message, information, package. I can be an invoice, certificate, or test result. You can find me in your mail, a newsletter, or an award. Look around me to find out more of what I am leaning towards. So it could be a love letter, a document, paperwork. I don't know what's going on here. But we've got that Seven of Swords energy, which I don't like, which can be about sneakiness, deceit, or just trying to get out of something here. All right, so how is Virgo? I'm going to put you, Virgo, here, your person here, but if any time during this reading, wow, you feel like the energies need to be switched, flipped, reversed, please feel free. So we got the Rider for you, which is about information coming in a message coming in all right so let's get one for your person and there's the message there wow so i can't make it that up that's the rider the messenger all right so one for virgo's person how are they feeling about virgo and this connection spirit please thank you so much oh there we go so we have the lilies here which is peace harmony King of Swords at the bottom there with truth and clarity. 30, it's three. Could be about reuniting, come back together, celebrating. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have the key, which is 33. Threes, again, are about reuniting and celebrating kind of energy. Add that together, that's six. Healing and balance energy. Eight of Pentacles here about putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work on something here. So let's read a little bit about the, um, that's the first card in the deck. One, so ones are all about new beginnings. The rider, I am always bringing news. Look around me to see what it, it includes. I might be coming to visit or bringing you some changes. I am fast and always on the move. If you if you see a negative card close by, you will probably not enjoy the reply. So 
I don't see anything negative here. Don't see any, somebody could be getting a message. Could be about peace, a peaceful like message or something moving forward peacefully here or changing peacefully. But there definitely is the key here. So the, the li lilies are all about peace, harmony, um, kind of energy. <clears throat> Calm, peace, serenity. Um, parents, elders show up under the symbol. Wisdom, experience, long-term relationship, commitment, and satisfaction. Wow. So, and then we have the key here, which is 33. I just like to read like to read these little little uh, quotes here under each discoveries and solutions are my forte you will find me in synchronicity signs and fate when I land close to you know that you have the means and the answers to what is troubling you look to my right I point to what is highly important or what needs to be solved and we do have the writer here which is about news message coming in movement changes and the nine of cups here is all about wishes and dreams coming true wish fulfillment happiness and joy king of swords energy here that is uh having total mental clarity which is gemini energy so we have cancer gemini so far all right, Virgo, so let's clarify this energy for you, for you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. I feel like somebody has mental clarity now. I feel like your person on this side has mental clarity, now wants peace, harmony, maybe commitment of some kind, relationship between the two of you. And this is like a wish fulfillment for you. It could be happening very quickly. And this is like the key, I'm getting like the key to your heart, the key to their heart. Uh, answer solutions here, getting your answer in the form maybe of a letter from this person, maybe a love letter, new uh, text, email. Wow. Okay. For a new beginning here with the one. All right. The moon there is 14, is five, which is about changes. So something definitely could be changing here. All right. Cycles. Start new cycle startings, emotions being revealed. All right, so Virgo, and I get like the moon energy in back of you, Virgo. Also, maybe your some of you watching your moon side could be Virgo. All right, so what is the rider here for Virgo? The tower, it's a big epiphany that is the change coming in. A tower always brings change of some kind can be good or bad. So why is that here for Virgo? The hanged man. So yeah, something could have been kind of still stagnant, not going anywhere. And all of a sudden, here comes the change with the rider. Quick change with the tower bringing it in. So why, whoops, does your person have? Yeah, the hermit in reverse. So if they went solo here, for a while went into like hermit mode now they're coming out of hermit mode because now they're in reverse so they no longer want to be alone they thought about it now they just want peace harmony they've had the mental clarity the hermit always goes in and finds that mental clarity so they found their mental clarity and now they just want peace harmony balance um they want to reunite come back together they want either commitment or leveling up the connection in some way and then we have the ace of cups which just flew out here so yeah they want this brain to be getting in love wow so we have aries pisces virgo so <clears throat> yep they want they thought about it they want to come back together they want this brain to be getting in love they just want peace and harmony between the two of you leveling up the commitment the relationship they're ready to give you the key to their heart they want the key to your heart wow okay so let's get the actual situation here i don't feel comfortable taking that so spirit please what is the actual situation here between virgo and their person for this love connection reading for april spirit please thank you so much 
for Virgo and their person. So Six of Cups energy here coming up on your side. So you definitely feel like this is a soulmate or maybe someone you've known for a long time, could have had past lives with, um, could have known them since childhood, school, college, or something like that. So we got the Three of Swords. It just come out and now come out again. So, I mean, this could be about third parties, but it doesn't have to be. Um, that could just be heartache, pain. You know, maybe when they went into hermit mode here, you thought, okay, maybe this is the end. Feeling a lot of heart and pain over that. And like reminiscing over the times you spent together with the Six of Cups energy. Missing them, like looking at their photos. Wondering, you know, what's going to happen next. Is this the end? And then all of a sudden they come out of hermit mode and they're like, okay, I want this brain to be getting in love. And they could either send you a physical snail mail or a long email or something like that. Okay, what else? King of Cups. So definitely having a lot of love and emotions here. It's Pisces again. So they may not have expressed it in the past. Sometimes the King of Cups doesn't really express how they truly feel that well, but they do have love, emotions, and feelings. They're in tune and in touch with their emotions. That's with the moon energy there. So deep feelings run deep, but they may not express that. But they may be expressing it now, especially with the letter and the writer here coming into you. All right, so what else here? Three of Cups, yeah, again, wanting to come back together, reuniting and celebrating or going out for a drink or whatever here, coming back together in some way, shape, or form. What else here for, let's get one more for Virgo. Eight of Cups. So yeah, I feel like they did maybe walk away for a time when they were in Virgo, in, uh, in Virgo mode. <laughs> oh my God. Well, yeah, they were definitely, you're definitely in their energy because the hermit is Virgo. So they could have walked away for a time here while they went in hermit mode. But now I feel like they're coming back, especially with the hermit in reverse and the ace of cups here and the three of cups and the king of cups. I think they might've walked away, but now they're coming back and now they want this. All right. So what is the... You may be getting a very long love letter or some sort of message here ready to give you the key to their heart. So, and they want to work on it long-term, especially with the Eight of Pentacles there. Slow, steady, long-term building, growing, putting in the work, long-term stability. So what is the advice for Virgo or this connection spirit, please? Queen of Cups. So now... We have the King and Queen of Cups. We have the matching couple. We have soulmate energy here. This is cancer energy. <clears throat> Again, love and emotions, a matching couple. So no advice that this you feel the same. And it's a matching soulmate couple here, especially with the Six of Cups. Now the Queen of Wands. So we have two different energies here. We have two queens. King, queen, doesn't matter. One's water, one's fire. Hmm. So let's see. I don't know because we do have the three of swords. So maybe there was somebody else involved here and they finally just made a choice. The Empress in reverse. Hmm. So why is that here? Why is that here? The Empress does embody every single queen of the deck. Uh, let's see. And the devil. Ooh, okay. So there might have been another person involved here. Um, maybe they had to go away and think about, make a choice. Because the devil can speak of a very strong connection, addictions, obsessions, lust, and all that kind of energy. Fear could also be just fear. Also. I mean, this empress can be emperor or empress, but this is not... When it's in reverse, it's not being in like that uh, stable, grounded place, not feeling like worthy or having value. 
But we have two queens here. So, like I said, king or queen. So, maybe they had to make a choice between two. Hmm. Okay. So, let's pull another one here. Let's pull another one here for you, Virgo. On this line, because I'm a little... Because I don't have any, well, except for the three swords there, but let's see. The stars, so here's healing, divinely guided energy, um, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So they either had to heal over some sort of uh, addictions, obsessions, or heal over something here. Maybe they felt like they weren't worthy. Maybe they see you as, <clears throat> you know, as this empress or emperor embodying all the kings or queens, but then themselves didn't feel like they were of equal value to be a match to you. But we have healing. So there is healing here. It is divinely guided energy. Judgment. So yeah, making a judgment call here. Final decision, judgment call, resurrection, forgiveness, soulmates coming back together. This is like, I just got like alignment of the stars energy here. So now we got the ten of swords and the nine of swords. So I feel like also while they were on this break, deciding what they wanted they also feared that this may end the connection here but ultimately they could have decided here with this judgment to ultimately come back divinely guided to you to come back so what is this two queens here for what is this two queens here for death hmm Transformation and something ending and transforming. Seven of Wands. So fighting for something, not giving up, but waiting. So you could have been waiting for them to make, make a decision here. You didn't want to give up on it, but maybe you decided here while they went on a break that maybe this was just going to be the end of it. But ultimately, I do feel they decide here to pick you. And what do we have here for the possible outcome? Six of Swords. So this is going to a much better place of healing, balance. Nine of Cups. Wishes and dreams coming true. Also, like the stars, energy. Seven of Pentacles. So again, about investing in this. Patiently waiting, investing for the future. So I do see wishes and dreams coming true, happiness, fulfillment. Was a period of waiting again, but now things are going in a much better direction. So we do have here Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, Scorpio again. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So Ace of Swords, so he has a brand new beginning, uh, Sword of Victory, Success, Truth and Clarity, uh, Cutting Away Things Not Serving. So I feel like if there was somebody involved, they definitely cut away that person here with this sword. Uh, divine Energy here coming in with Truth and Clarity. Ten of Cups, Total Happiness, Fulfillment, and Joy in Every Single Way and Love. Two of Cups, Soulmate Union coming together, very fiery, passionate, brand new beginning here, exciting. So, so we do have here, let's see, I don't see any other signs other than what I mentioned, but I do feel for some of you, there might have, might have been somebody else that they had to make a decision and you waited so long and then figured, okay, this is just the end and deciding to just forget about it. But then all of a sudden they come back and they choose you and they're ready for higher levels of commitment. They just want peace and harmony. They may send you a very long email, a letter of some sort, and now ready to opening their heart, give you, giving you the key to their heart, vice versa, and working on it slowly, 
and getting wishes and dreams coming true and going into a much more healing, balancing place, leaving all the crap behind between the two of you. And it may happen uh, like quickly out of the blue. Maybe you've been waiting for a while here, and then all of a sudden, boom, <clears throat> here they come. All right, so let's see, Virgo. Let's get some extra messages here for you, Virgo. Extra messages here for Virgo in this connection, please. Spirit, thank you so much. Rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take breaks. Wow, and I have six, 42, six, again, going to a much more balanced, healed place, leaving the crap behind. So I did say, felt, felt like that there was a break here. And they really finally made a decision and realized what they truly wanted here. And I feel like choosing you. Love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. 31-4. So very stable now. And now uh, healing past hurts and now having self-worth. And I felt that over here with the Empress in reverse, like somebody not feeling like they're worthy. Now having self-worth and healing past hurts. And now there is just love, which makes the difference. All right, now I want to shuffle. All right, for Virgo, one more for Virgo. And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. So we do have two here. We have, I love you. These are very important words. 22 soulmate union. We have here, love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. 16, which is seven. Again, with um, maybe a little confusion at one time or being, you know, fighting for this and not giving up. But now there's definitely love between the two of you, I feel. And we have true love. The love. This love is a once-in-a-lifetime love. 33, coming back together, celebrating, rejoicing, and celebrating this true love. Wow, Virgo. I feel like it's been a heck of a time here with this person, and now things are changing for the better, Virgo. Wow, Virgo. Best of luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, is to always, always shine your light.